Hi everybody, it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with a swatching video. So as you may remember, I don't know if I have enough clearance to open this box. We had my giant order of Yoseka stationery ink samples. <laughs> These ones here are the ones that we have already swatched. These are the ones that we have left to swatch, and the holes that you see from this row on are basically what we're going to swatch today. So I decided instead of doing it like rows like this or rows like this, um, because of the way that um, ink samples, or because of the way the ink studio is set up, they have these um, like series of inks. I thought that what we would do is we just do like the series and so a lot of these like go from like like this one goes from 130 to 930 um i do the whole set because they're supposed to be various um, they're supposed to be like different shades of the same color so um and um yeah so i thought that'd be fun to like compare them and so if i've already have like like the ones that we're gonna do today i'm gonna do 223 because we've already swatched um, 1, 2, 3, 7, 23, and 0, 2, 3. Um, then we'll have the whole series. And um, yeah, so I thought that'd be cool. And then we can compare all of them together. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the 23 series and the 31 series. Um, I was going to do the 30 series, but I realized when I ordered the this set of samples, I actually missed two. Um, so I'm missing 930. And the other one that I'm missing, I think is 9... It was 943, I think. Yeah, 943. So, um, so I've just ordered those and um, we'll have them coming from Yaseka Stationery. And so once I get those, then um, I won't do an unboxing, but we'll do the we'll do the next series in the set. And this little pamphlet comes in um, with your bottle of Sailor's Ink Studio. It's a color chart and it comes with all the bottles. And so I started going through and like checking off which ones I didn't have. And I'd already put it on my spreadsheet and Fountain Pen Companion, and so I just looked real fast and I realized that I was missing the two that I was missing. So, um, yeah, so I will have a complete set. And what also what I'm going to do is um, to make my life easier when it comes to doing these swatches in these series is I've pulled out my um, Sailor Ink Studio cards and they're on their own separate ring. So, um, so they'll be easy to find. So when I want to do comparisons, we can pull them all. And I'm going to have them organized in number order, um, but we'll we'll view them in the series order. So yeah, so I thought that'd be cool. Um, a little more organized swatchiness. Um, I have my background paper. I forgot to grab my blank coloring cards. Of course I did. Thankfully I have some right here. I'm probably gonna need to buy a couple more color rings by the time this is over. Um, maybe not. I like seem to have them like all over the place. Um, so I'm gonna swatch five inks today. Three, four. I think that's enough. It might be one too many. So um, yeah, we're gonna swatch five inks today. And the inks that we're gonna swatch today are number 931, 131, 431 and I think this sample got contaminated um, when I opened it up there was ink on top of the oh yeah it did um, there was ink on top of the plastic wrap and when I dumped it into the vial um, some of it went with it so I think my sample for 431 is not going to be accurate but I'd already placed my order so I didn't want to just buy a, a lot of patches I know I know it's gonna be inaccurate and we don't like that but I don't know what to tell you buddy it's just the way it's going to be today. So, um, yeah. So, my swatch for 431 will probably not be accurate. I will get a replacement um, um, sample at some point. I'm just not going to do it now because I just placed the order and I don't want to mess with it. Um, then, um, Sailor Ink Studio 231 and Ink Studio 223. What you just missed is I had a sneezing fit and Patches just tore through the house going a mile a minute. So, anyway... Oh my gosh, Patches, what? He might come running back through. Meow? Okay, anyway, so I have swatched all the rest in the in the 31 series and the 23 series, and so we'll compare what I have to what I'm doing now. And like I said, the one that's probably not going to be accurate is this 431. I didn't realize it when I dumped the ink in there that it had, um, that the wrong color had like seeped through into the lid. 
Um, so yeah, so I don't know how accurate this is, this one's going to be. I'm going to get another sample at some point. So anyway, I've already put them in my vial so you don't have to sit through me doing that. And um, yeah. Alright, well, let's go. I've got my dip pen. This is a Moon Man mini glass dip pen. You can get them on Amazon, on eBay, on Etsy. Um, somebody I just watched opened one and it came as it was in a box that said Delike. So you might be able to find it also as Delike um, glass dip pen. Um, I just, I think Chris and uh, Count over at Creepy Nibs had Moon Man glass dip pens. So that's what I searched for and that's what I found. So yeah, it's, ba it's the same exact thing. So, oh my gosh, Patches, what is the matter? Kitties are going crazy today. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get started. I'm going to try not zooming in because it seems when I zoom in, I always go off frame. So let me know if you prefer this better or if you prefer it zoomed in and um, I can uh, adjust going forward. I like zooming in because then you can see it better, but if I'm not always paying attention to the camera, sometimes, I mean, it's my phone and it's right up there, but sometimes I'm in the middle of doing stuff and even if I check it, like, I still mess it up, so, yeah, so I'm going to try staying zoomed out and we'll see how this works. I will um, pull up the cards closer so we can see them, um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to start uh, with Sailor Ink Studio 223, oops, where's my little kitty cat? My vial holder. I have not made it to Daiso yet. I need to go to Daiso. I want to get a couple for some friends if I can find them. So, and this was purchased from Yosuka Stationery. Is this right? Is this color? Mm, I don't recall 223 being so dark. That's what the label says. Is 223 really dark? Mm. This might not be right. I don't recall 223 being that dark. 223 is darker than 123, but it's not that dark. But that's what my vial is labeled as. So I probably need to get a order a replacement. Order replacement. Um, I feel like this might be another sample of 023 and it was just labeled incorrectly. That's fine. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's wrong. Well, I'm gonna... One moment, please. I'm gonna do some Googling because this is really bothering me. <laughs> Studio 223. I mean, it's darker, but, oh, maybe it is that dark. I don't know. Okay, it is darker. All right, well. It's darker, but I don't think it is as dark as 023, so maybe I'm going nuts. Okay. I also ordered a bottle of that pink lemonade. I don't remember if I said it earlier, but um, yeah. Also, I ordered an automatic pen. I've been thinking about it. I really Oh, this isn't as dark as I thought it is. Okay, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over my notes. <laughs> it's darker, but it's not as dark. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, I think I need a bottle of this. I don't need a bottle of this. I don't need a bottle of anything. Ooh, and what I also wanted to do, I didn't set it up. I did set it up, but I set it off the side. I'm gonna do swatches on the Tumblr River paper, but I'm also gonna do swatches on that Cosmo Air light paper just to see how it goes. And I'm going to cross out this question mark because, yes, it is. Okay. 
very nice. I'm not set up to be able to dry cards anywhere. Okay. So next up, we are going to do Sailor 131, which is a really pretty pink. My labels, for some reason, are not sticking at all anymore. I never had this problem before. I don't know if it's the vial or if it's the label not being sticky. These are different vials than I'm used to. Um, a really pretty, like, hot pink color. I am a fan. I'm not going to compare this to other inks at the moment. I think what I'll do is once we swatch them all, I'll do like a big giant, um, like I'll go through my the swatches that I do have and we'll do like a big giant um, like swatch comparison fest. I'll take, if you want to see it compared to something, I'll take notes about what to compare it to and if I have if I have it available to compare, what I'll do is we'll just do a big giant comparison video. And that will close out our Ink Studio series. I like this pink though. It's bright and, and it's like hot pink, but also like, oops. Kind of reminds me of like hope pink or something like that. I think hope pink is a little more saturated maybe, but it's real pretty. Okay. Next up, this is the one that I will for sure have to replace. Um, Sailor Ink Studio 431. I'm still gonna make a swatch of it because it, it was only a drop that I got in here, but a drop can like do a lot of damage, so. Um. Like, I can't be sure that color is accurate because it was a drop of darker purple, like darker purple. So, again, it was only a drop, but. Oops, I did my brush way too far. Um, it's pretty, though. Oh, I'm even still off frame. Sorry about that. Even being out of focus, or even not zoomed out. It is a darker magenta, but I just don't know if it's a, like if that's the right color. Pretty. That is eye searing. In a good way, in my personal opinion, but <laughs> I could see how it wouldn't be for everybody. Next up, oh, I missed one. 231. We're going to jump down. Wow, 
that's pretty. It's really nice. And last but not least, we have 931. I'm so behind on Inkorimo, by the way. I'm gonna catch up this weekend. Oh, I really like that one. I mean, I have 1200 inks that are just like this one, but I like it anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry a little bit and I'll come back and then we will do a comparison of all the series that we did today. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that's a um, shorter little swatching video, kind of break them up into bite-sized chunks instead of having like giant, giant um, long videos. I love the long videos, I love watching long videos. Um, sometimes I don't like uploading long videos. <laughs> but. Yeah, so that's awesome. So I will be back in just a few moments and um, yeah, we'll do, we'll show the whole series. Okay, I don't know if the, because we have the dark colors coming up, I'm not sure if this will help or not, um, but wanted to be able to show you. Here's um, Sailor Ink Studio 023 compared to 123, compared to 223, which I, is not as dark as 023 and then compared to 723. So that's our 23 line. Um, I'll also go ahead and show it on the black background just so we can see in case that compares at all or helps you to make any sort of decisions. Kind of. So there you go. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, I like 223, like, especially now that I, I thought it was going to be dark, like, one of these. Um, it's in the middle. I don't, I wonder what, like, a, well, I don't know. Like, I don't know. And then we do have a couple that are, like, next to it. So let's look at, um, this is what. 224 looks like, which is kind of like in the middle here. So that's kind of what that looks like. Well, I guess maybe I should do it over here, but so the color seems to look more like 123, sort of, but yeah. But anyway, that's where that's where that falls in the line. Um yeah, so that's our 23 line. And then we have our uh, 131 line. There is not a 031, at least not yet. So we have 131, 231. There's no 331, so we go to 431. Then 531. There's no 631, so 731. 831, oops. and 931. It's interesting to me that these seem to go together. Like these three seem to sort of go together and this kind of goes together. And these, I think 831 would more fit on this, this path perhaps. Um, yeah, this one kind of is just like on its own in the middle somewhere. 
Um, yeah, so there's 931, 831, 789. And then I also have um, Sailor 130, which, if you were to look at these next to each other in color and number order, Here's what 130 looks like next to 131. So if that helps you make any sort of decision about which one you prefer, um, let me know. Let's go ahead and look at it on the white background. I don't think that's as needed um, with this, but just in case this helps anybody. Oops. Two, four, five, seven, and nine. So there you go. And then again, just for grins, that's what 131 looks like. Next, 130 looks like next to it. So that's our pinks. Um, here's what they look like. On um, Tomoe River paper, the Tomoe River paper is still drying because it kind of like pried it on. But that's 224. That's 131, 231, 431, and 931. The sheen on that is really pretty. This one is one of those that looks like it's almost all sheen, and it could just be because of how much I put on there. And then um, this is what it looks like on the Cosmo Light Air paper. There is sheen, it's not as much. Um, there's more shading, but the book closed and kind of stopped up some of the ink on this side. Um, that's our. 131, 431, 231, and 531. One thing I'm noticing on this paper, well, it does it on Tomoe River paper too. It looks like it's going to get kind of crinkly, but nothing bleeds through. This is the 52 gram, so we do have some sort of bleed through. I also piled on the ink real, you know, real bad. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what that looks like. You still get some of the sheen on this one but you can still also see the base color, which I think is great. One of the things that I don't like about the super sheeners is you don't always get to see the base color and the base color is pretty. Like there's a reason it's the color of the ink and you have to, if you have to dilute it, like that's, I don't know. That's one of the reasons I don't like really gravitate towards, I like sheen, but I don't, I don't really like the super sheeners for that much, but yeah, so anyway. So I thought that you would find that interesting. Um, let me know what you thought, and um, we'll continue the series as we go on. I have some um, not Sailor Ink samples to sample also, so I'll probably like mix those in so we get a variety, so it's not all Sailor all the time, and it's not all everything else all the time, so. Anyway, yeah, so um, yeah, so once I get those samples from your like stationery, I will um, add those to the set of inks that we have to swatch, and then we'll do series this 30 series and then I think it was what was it 43 40 34 43 what was it it was this blue one yeah the 43 so once I get I'm I'm missing 930 and 943 so once I get those then I'll be able to complete like the 43 series and the 30 series I don't know if the 43 series will be next but I'll definitely do the 30 series once I get those Unless I get inspired before I get it to continue on, but once I get those, we'll fill in, we'll fill in our holes, and we'll get going. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.